Hey guys, so mod is here. Welcome back to the new video. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you Franklin House mod for Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Well, a few years ago, I have already made a video on it. But in that video, some of my viewers had some problem like game is crashing, game is not starting or maybe something else. Well, in today's video, you will not face any type of problem if you watch this video till end. And the house you are getting is in the very high quality. You can save your progress and you can roam just like GTA 5, you know. So do you want to know how to install and how to use this mod into your game? Please make sure to watch this video till end, you know. Because if you don't watch this video till end, then your game might crash after reaching at the house or your game will won't start. So you don't want to make your game like that, you know. So why not to watch this video till end, you know. And then you will not have any problem, I promise. But if you still have any problem, then you can let me know in the comment section. I reply to each and every comment, you know. I'm not like other. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get started to the video guys. Alright my friends, so as you can see we are in our desktop screen and first thing you will need this file, make sure to check description for more information. Now once your file has been extracted, then all you need to do is just open the extracted file that we have just done, you know. Now once the file has been extracted then simply open your game directory and you will need mod loader. Now if you don't have mod loader then you can watch my previous video, right? Now once your mod loader folder has been opened then what you need to do is just open your mod loader folder and then create a new folder. Create a new folder named with Franklin's house and then what you need to do is just drag and drop all of these files into your game directory, right? Now all you need to do is just run your enb.exe or your gtsrenders.exe and then your game will 100% start. Alright my friends, so as you can see we are no game and then from here what you need to do is you have to go on settings, display settings, advanced setting and this is the setting you have to do immediately before launching the game. So first thing you have to do is set the draw distance to very low and then your visual effects quality should be set on low you know. If you set this quality to very high or high then your game will 100% crash when you reach at the Franklin's house you know. So if you don't want to do this then please make sure to lower down these settings and also please turn off your anti-aliasing and uh, resolution it's all depends on you what resolution you would like to play. Now simply just run new game a load game and then your game will 100% start. So as you can see our game has been successfully started now in order to spawn your house what you need to do is you have to go on this location i guess yes this location okay now if you go to this location then uh, you have to just go straight and then as you can see there's a franklin house it's looking to our some isn't it now there's no difference between the gta 5's house and this house in san andreas so yeah guys that's pretty much for today thank you so much for watching till end so yeah as always i'll see you into the next one till then goodbye